Okay, see this question. Uh, weight W attached to the end of a flexible rope of diameter D equal to 0.75 cm is raised vertically by the winding the rope on a reel as shown. If the reel is turned uniformly at a rate of 2 revolutions per second, what is the tension in the rope? The inertia of rope may be neglected. So uh, here we have got a loop, right? A uh, spool where we are winding a rope. By winding the rope, okay, basically this is rotating in this direction. So by winding the rope, the rope is rising upwards, and because of that, the block is also rising upwards. Correct. So now we have to find a tension in the rope. So first of all, let's look at the FBD of the block. Tension will be acting upwards, and gravity. That is weight of the block will be acting downwards. Now the question is what should be the value of tension? Okay. Uh, is it equal to W or is it more than W or less than W? So for that we need to know what is the acceleration of the block, right? If acceleration is zero then T equal to W. But in this case, what is the acceleration? Let's see. So the distance of the rope, distance of the outermost rope from the center will be how much? Let's call it R. Okay, let's call it R. Then the speed of this end will be upwards. How much? Omega R. Correct. So the block should have upwards speed of omega R. Correct. The block is connected to the rope. Since the rope is winding over here, this point has the speed omega R. So the block should also have the speed omega R because it is attached to the rope. Okay. Now, since the rope has got some thickness so as the rope is getting winded radius r is increasing the radius r is increasing continuously that means omega r should also increase that means the velocity of the block is increasing upwards okay and that means the block is accelerating upwards the block is accelerating upwards so tension should be more than w Okay, so either option A or C, one of them is correct. We just need to verify which one. Okay. So to find tension, we need to know this acceleration and acceleration will be how much? A will be dV by dt. This side over here. A will be dV by dt. That is d by dt of r omega. Since omega is constant, so we get omega dr by dt so if we know the rate at which radius is changing we can solve the question okay now the rope is continuously winding over here right so let's see so let's say i got a rope here and this is one winding of the rope then this is your second winding third winding Okay, and if you observe with every winding, the distance of the rope from the center is increasing. How much? By the amount of the diameter. Okay, so this distance is increasing by the diameter. Correct. So with every winding, if I take one full winding of the rope, the distance of the rope from the center is increasing by the diameter of the rope. Okay, so I can say that for theta equal to change in angle equal to 2 pi that is one full revolution one full rotation okay one full rotation change in radius is how much equal to diameter okay if i complete one revolution my uh, radius is increasing by d if i complete two revolutions my diameter increases by 2d if i complete three revolution my diameter uh, changes by uh, sorry radius changes by 3d Okay, so delta R by delta T can be written as delta R by delta theta into delta theta by delta T. So this thing I know. For delta R is small d and del theta will be 2 pi. And del theta by delta t is given as the omega. Omega is given to be 2 revolutions per second. Okay. We'll put the omega later on. So let's just keep it omega. So I found dr by dt equal to omega d by 2 pi. Right. So that's it. My acceleration will be omega dr by dt. So acceleration is omega dr by dt. So that is omega square d by 2 pi.
I found the acceleration. Now uh, just put the FBD equation. So T minus W. T minus W equal to MA. So that is M omega square D by 2 pi. So tension will be W plus M omega square D by 2 pi. Now M will be what? Mass of the block will be W by G times omega square d by 2 pi so that's it w will be sorry tension will be w times 1 plus omega square d by 2 pi g now we just need to put the values so that's it when you solve this you will get this will be equal to 1.019 w okay so option a will be the answer